Russellville Elementary School, 1.45 p.m. There's going to be the potential for strong damaging winds or a tornado. I've had a chance to go back and kind of play our radar through from this time yesterday, and you can see at least some brief rotation there in that area. Again, the Weather Service confirming an EF0 tornado yesterday in Jefferson County. This morning, we started off in the 20s and 30s, and we've not warmed up all too much. 36 right now in Knoxville, still 29 in Wartburg, 30 in Kingston, and only 37 degrees currently in Teleco Plains. We're trying to bring the bright vibes because we can barely see the sun out there. I know. It is still so foggy right now. Yeah. A very soupy feel, and it's oh, not yeah. the kind of soup I really like. No, no, not at all. But as I mentioned, snowfall totals, just not going to be a lot for most areas. Up to an inch for parts of the plateau and Kentucky, and then one to two inches possible over the very highest peaks in the Smokies. Temperature-wise, we're sitting in the 30s and 40s. A little bit of a cool start to your Saturday, so be sure to grab the jacket. The Storm Prediction Center has Knoxville under a level one risk with that level two risk back towards the plateau. You can even see a little bit of orange there, so locations near Nashville, they're going to be under a level three out of five risk for strong to severe storms tomorrow. You may dodge a few scattered showers, especially over parts of the valley and the plateau right now. We've had some showers develop here over the past hour. None of this is thunderstorm activity as our lightning counter is still at zero. Gave you a hard I, time. I think I this know. is the time to tell her that she is an honorary Smith. Tirsa. <gasps> By the way, yes. By the way. Yes. Oh, because uh -huh. it's only fitting at this point, you might as well be Victoria Smith. There you go. Oh, oh my this gosh. Point. The Smiths, Victoria. Yeah. Wow. We brought you in. Yeah. This is the best day. <laughs> Now, here's Knoxville's most accurate forecast from the WATE 6 on your side storm team. Good afternoon. I'm Assistant Chief Meteorologist Victoria Cavalieri. We're continuing to track power outages all across East Tennessee as many locations are implementing rolling blackouts. This just gives you an estimate of some of the numbers of customers without power right now. At last check, it looks like in Knox County, we're actually a little bit closer to that 20,000 customer mark. Also seeing some power outages into Blunt, Sevier County, up near Dandridge and Morristown. Make sure that you're staying safe this afternoon as temperature readings continue to be in the single digit digits for many. As expected, this system didn't bring us a lot of snow, but some locations over the higher elevations still holding on to some light scattered snow flurries right now over Skylift Park. And we're continuing to see frigid temperatures everywhere. We're sitting at minus two in Crossville, minus one in Oneida, up to nine right now in Maryville, and 11 degrees currently in Teleco Plains. When you add in the wind, which continues to be gusty at times, wind chill values or how cold it feels outside are closer to minus 20 for the plateau. It feels like negative eight in Miraville and feeling like minus seven in Newport. I wanted to give you a look at some of our minimum morning wind chill values. So this tells you just how cold it felt across parts of our area this morning. Crossville got down to a wind chill of negative 26. Rockwood this morning had a wind chill of negative 18. And even McGee Tyson had a wind chill there of minus 15. And I think we're going to continue to hold on to these very cold wind chill values this afternoon and into your Saturday. That's why the wind chill warning stays in effect until 1 p.m. tomorrow, and we're going to keep weather aware status up as we continue to track the dangerous cold. Storm Tracker 6 radar indicating some light scattered snow flurries pushing through Blunt and Sevier counties. Also looks like we may have a little bit of moisture for areas closer towards the Tri-Cities, but none of this snow is going to have a huge impact. And as expected, many locations in the Valley and Southern Valley didn't see impressive snowfall totals, although Matt LeConte did pick Pick up four inches of snow, newfound gap seeing about 3.6 inches, and even Pleasant Hill there in Cumberland County picking up about two inches of snow. Winds continue to be gusty this afternoon. Right now we're pulling our winds a little more out of the west. 28 mile per hour sustained winds in Dandridge, 27 mile per hour winds there in Townsend, and also 27 mile per hour winds in Wartburg. The wind advisory continues until 4 p.m. this afternoon for all the counties shaded in blue. Winds may continue to gust up to 40 miles per hour, which is just adding on to the cold that we already have in place. Later today, we should get up to about 13 in Knoxville, 10 in Morristown. Your forecast high today in Wartburg at 7 degrees. Check out these feels like temperatures, though, this afternoon into tonight and even into tomorrow morning. The feels like temperatures continue to be below zero. That's why we're going to keep the weather aware status up. If you do have to be out, you really need to take this seriously. Make sure you're dressing in layers, that you don't have any exposed skin 
skin out because this is the kind of weather where you can get hypothermia and frostbite fairly easily. Overnight tonight, we'll drop down to 5 degrees in Knoxville, 0 your low tonight in Middlesbrough, and down to 2 degrees in Wartburg. The weekend forecast calls for some quieter conditions, maybe a few isolated snow flurries tomorrow, but most stay dry for your Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. We've got a little more sun in the forecast, but you can see afternoon highs continue to be well below average, only in the mid to upper 20s. It's not until the middle of next week that we finally notice a slight thaw. We're at 48 degrees on Wednesday and 54 by Thursday, mainly dry next week, except for the chance for a few snow flurries on Monday.